What's up everybody, it's your boy Wooj, back for another video. And today we have an exciting episode for you guys today. I'm going scuba diving in the Catalina Islands of Costa Rica. A lot of you guys have been asking me to go scuba diving here in Costa Rica since the waters are so beautiful here. And I finally must have up the courage to do so and I'm super excited to go deep sea diving today. I first got introduced to deep sea diving and got kind of piqued an interest on it after reading the book Deep by James Nestor. It's a really interesting take on the ocean and it explores each layer of the deep sea through the eyes of a deep sea diver. I highly recommend this book for anyone who's interested in the deep sea and going deep sea diving. But not only did I learn a lot about just what lies underneath in the ocean, but our untapped abilities as humans to thrive and survive underwater. So this is gonna be my first time going scuba diving and going more than 40 feet underwater. So scuba actually stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. So the main difference between scuba diving and just snorkeling is that we'll have this huge oxygen tank attached to our bags, which allows us to connect the tube to it and breathe oxygen through the tube. So it is a little bit more dangerous as we will be going a little deeper underwater and for a longer period of time, but I think the rewards will pay off and we'll be able to see some amazing and extraordinary sea creatures down there. So I'm mainly hoping to see some sharks, some stingrays, some octopus, and a couple of rare fish like the puffer fish that are supposedly down there near the Catalinas. And so since that will be my first time ever going scuba diving, I'll be going out with my instructor. Shout outs to Bruno and the Pacific Coast Diving Center. And you could find their link below. So the plan is to go to a nearby pool, meet up with the instructor and do some practice dive, learn how to use all the equipment and do some safety protocols for about an hour to two hours and get all my trainings out of the way. And we'll take a boat ride about, which is about an hour to the Catalina. And I'm scheduled for at least two 40 to an hour session underwater with Bruno, the instructor. I'm super excited for today and let's go get it. What's up everyone? Just did a pool session with my trainer, Bruno. Yeah, buddy. Pretty successful trip. Hopefully we don't, we don't die in the water.
things I've ever done in my life it felt so surreal because being that deep underwater you don't you realize you're on a totally different planet with crazy different creatures that you've really never even seen before like in real life it was just surreal being down so deep and noticing all the different corals that are down there the creatures the, the rocks so I saw some sharks down there but unfortunately I forgot to bring my camera for my second dive and I couldn't film it for you guys, but really I, I, I got to see another side of sharks where I've, I've always imagined them as these vicious, like crazy creatures that will come after like any chance of food that they get, but it seemed like they were actually really chill the whole time. They were kind of just cooped up in this underwater cave looking thing. 
and there was about like seven or eight of them just chilling down there and like just not really doing much and resting and i was able to get kind of close to them about like maybe like a couple feet away from them and i could I, and i saw their eyes and they were just chilling and so yeah i guess i got over my fear of sharks so overall i would give it a 10 out of 10 five thumbs up definitely going back for another dive it's definitely worth the effort and i encourage anybody who is has a chance to go scuba diving to definitely go so thanks for watching guys and please if you haven't already like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about pc diving and if you have if any of you guys have any experience with it